Welcome back. As we head into fall, Melting Pot Restaurants wants to help you uncork and unwind with a new experience. Gavin Biddick is here to tell us all about uncorked. Okay, so what is uncorked? Uh, so basically, we're focusing on wine and specifically how wine pairs with food right now. Yeah. And there's a couple ways to do that. You can sit at the bar and we have uh, a seven wine tasting where it's uh -oh. like one ounce of seven different wines with wow. little bites of food that pair mm -hmm. with it. And then what we uh, we also have a four course perfect pairings is what we call it. And you start with cheese fondue, uh, salad, and entree, and then the chocolate fondue, which is what we're going to make today. And each of those are going to be paired with a three ounce glass of wine. See, that's um, everything so, yeah. <laughs> that's good in the world in one. Altogether. Absolutely. Yeah, it's all of that. Step by step by step. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. All right. Let's what did you bring for us? Here? Okay, so what we're sample. making today is uh, blackberry crush chocolate fondue. Okay. Um, and I'm going to just uh, we're going to crush up a bunch of blackberries and and, and that's uh, just kind of how we get that started. And I've already done that uh, and we cover it with our uh, chocolate fondue. Um, and mm -hmm. so that's kind of magic there. So so we, we crush those up, we cover it with the dark chocolate fondue, uh, and then the wine that pairs with our chocolate is uh, Decoy. Uh, it's a Merlot, and one of the things we like to do with that is uh, we're going to, not only do you get a three ounce glass of it, but we're going to take a little bit of this and we're going to put it, it's, it's almost, this chocolate's like a molten lava cake, mm -hmm. and so we're just going to kind of soak this oh, into the molten okay. cake, uh -huh. and so it's going to go, that's going to go right on top of the chocolate. And uh, Gavin, let me get that bottle out of your way. <laughs> yeah, okay. Knock it out. Oh, okay. All right. And uh, a little bit of uh, powdered oh, sugar on top of that. This is beautiful. Wow. And then we just uh, top it off with a uh, little blackberry and some mint. And this is our blackberry crushed chocolate fondue. Wow. That's kind of how we finish it off. And you have a oh, variety of different fruits and uh, and pastries to dip into that uh, to kind of finish off the meal. How do you right know in. how to pair wine with a cheese or a dessert? Uh, well, we actually uh, have, we sent one of our, our beverage manager out to Napa and he wow. said it was for research and you know, he was yeah. drinking a lot of wine. Research, and, you know, right? so, so he actually went and spent some time out there and worked with a lot of the wineries out in Napa. Uh, I kind of talked to them and tasted some things and uh, came back and brought uh, a menu with it, and that's kind of what we've uh, we've we've got from that. Wow. And so, uh, yeah, we have the four courses. The cheese uh, pairs with an acidic wine, so the creaminess of the cheese and the acidity of the wine. It's the uh, the Rodney Strong. Uh, uh, Sauvignon Blanc, and then we have the the salads, which have kind of an acidic dressing, and so they pair that with the uh, a Winty Chardonnay, a Winty Estate Chardonnay. Got it. So it's a little creamier. So you kind of switch from the the first it's course amazing. to the second course. It's amazing. Okay, so let folks know uh, where they can find you. Uh, so we're at 6100 Westheimer Road. Uh, we're about a mile and a half west of the Galleria on Westheimer, um, in that fun. shopping center. Get in there and check it we out. We are going to check it You're out. You're going to get spoiled. Yes. Thank all right, perfect. So thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you. All right, we're going to post all this info and a replay of this segment online on our website. Click to Houston.com. That'll be after the show, and you can find it posted under the video tab on our homepage. Going to have a piece of this Rice Krispie Square. Yeah, go ahead.